Hey guys, how is everyone doing today? I just got back from school uh, just about an hour ago. So, getting another rainstorm and I got a molt. Sweet, but it's not the one that I was looking for. It's the molt from my uh, pink zebra beauty tarantula, the Eupalestrus capristratus. So allow me to sh sex that molt for you and to see whether or not it's a male or female. So it was sold to me as a confirmed female. Uh, which is actually sweet. So I'm probably not going to get that mystery tea because from what I can tell it looks to be a male of some sort. And uh, Robsy tells me it is an LP and I probably could agree with him. But I probably will never know for sure. So um, this is how I prepare the mixture some soap and water. Very slowly with your fingers stir the water. Now what you do is uh, take your molt. Yeah, definitely PZB. And just soak it. So that way it'll become malleable and so you can bend easily. It doesn't need to be there for very long. Um, unfortunately, I have a big cup of salt. This cookie thing. Put her in there. Ah, uh, perfect. Yeah, she was probably like three inches. She's probably four now. Uh, I will show you the specimen uh, right after this uh, initial uh, sexing. Okay, so. That's what the molt looks like. So now what you want to do to sex a tea uh, from its molt is you want to open up that abdomen area and you want to check for uh, your spermatophy, which is that flap that I mentioned during the bee smithy molt. Of once you did molt. Alrighty, so I'm going to take some skewers and slowly open up the admin area. And what I should be looking for is a flap. If I see the flap, then I know it's a female. And if I don't, well, it's obviously a male. Okay, so that worked pretty well. Close this up. Already have a look at it. Try to get into the best possible light. Not always easy. So I do see the flap right in the center. So uh, let me point a knife. A knife. Yeah, your sperm sac should be right where I'm pointing to. There we go. That's the flap. So it is indeed a female PZB. Awesome. So let's go check her out. And then I have some stunning revelations about the HMAC female that we made it. Let's take a look after. Wow very very beautiful and I could tell why they got the name pink zebra beauty if you note the pinkish hairs on the abdomen and the stripes are all over the legs wow she's just beautiful yeah right now looks to be what three and a half inches not four yet I just estimate that size yeah you could tell Definite Eupalestra species by the um, thick hind legs, just like a king baboon. But very docile. Cool. Anyway, so now I'll end the video with uh, Grishina and see how well she's doing. Anyways, here's Valencia, green bottle blue from yesterday. Going to be feeding the uh, slings tomorrow. Or Sasha dining on a uh, mealworm. 
and we just heard a big thunder and here's Grishina let's have a look in the back this is particularly very interesting well as you can see right now she just literally covered the web entrance and uh, you can just see her right now yeah so uh, I don't know I think I'm gonna pair her uh, Hades up one more time this weekend and uh, I think what I'll do is I might send him to Tarantula Canada see if they have any luck on breeding him because right now this is a very good sign she just never did this before as you saw during the video she had uh, two successful mating attempts the third one being ultra successful the male at least got uh, a good two or three insertions so um, this is really good news so hopefully she doesn't melt out like Medusa or Gretel and that'd be sweet yeah an update the male he is just mean as hell so anyways, I just wanted to share with you uh, the biggest update that I have so far for my teas, as far as Grishina is concerned, and the molt from the Pink Zebra Beauty. So anyways, I'll let you guys know if that LP or Mystery Tea does, in fact, molt. Um, hopefully, maybe it'll do it either tonight or uh, tomorrow morning. So if it does, I'll let you know. If it doesn't, then I'm probably going to uh, give it to the guy that I got the... Uh, scorpion from because I didn't buy it yet so just holding it for him until uh, he goes to Toronto and uh, that's it so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching